hello my beautiful butterflies welcome back to my channel it's been a minute you guys so let me first say happy new year to all of you guys i hope you guys are all doing well i hope your new year has gotten off to a great start I myself personally am doing well. I have some things I want to accomplish this year. I have some goals set for myself for wellness and other things. So yeah, we'll get into that. So lately, you guys, I've just been around the home, doing a lot of things around the home. I still have some things that I want to do as well. So that has been keeping me busy lately. So yeah, you guys, let's get into what this video is about today. We have a Louis Vuitton unboxing, and then we have a whole setup. So it's going to be like three parts to this video. So if you're interested in that, of course, just stick around. But before we get into any of that, you guys know the drill. We're going to do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you're interested. So starting you guys with my face today i have on this new palette from chanel that i shared with you guys i don't think it's quite out yet on the website here's what it looks like here and this is in number 388 o'clock wheat. there it is right there and as I stated in a video, I skipped on this one, but then I went back and got it. These shadows are very similar to the ones that I got during the holiday. It's a five pan palette that I picked up during the holiday, but I end up picking this one up as well because it is less shimmer than the holiday one. So that's the difference with that, but you definitely don't need both. So I have this quad on today and I use every single color in this quad on my eyes. You definitely don't have to do that. There's a couple one and dones in here that you can do just like all over your lid. But for me, I went in my crease with this brown shade here and it's kind of like a cool tone brown. Then I went all over my lid with this grayish black color and um, when you brush it out it's like a smoky pretty gray and then you can also build it up to the black as well but I did more of a smoky look for that and then this beautiful shimmer right here I put over top of that black and then this highlight color here which is a little bit of a satiny color here I put it in my inner tear duct so that is what I used on my eyes today you guys hopefully you can see that I do film again in natural lighting in front of a window so yeah hopefully you can see that so that is what I have on my eyes today, you guys. Next, you guys, I have on as foundation, which I probably should have started with, but I was so excited about the eyes palette, is a tried and true from Chanel, and it's from their Les Beiges collection. I know I'm in shade B50. As you can see, it's almost gone, you guys. It's definitely gonna be a repurchase for me. This is my quick foundation that I use when you just want to have an even coverage. So if you want full coverage, you're probably not going to get that from this. This is a light to medium coverage foundation, but I absolutely love it. Between this one and my house labs, they're both almost gone, but is what I use all of 2023 pretty much these two so definitely will be a repurchase next on my cheeks today another one i just shared from the labages collection with you and it's a brush in the coral and it looks like this there is the information on the back in case you're interested and it's this beautiful coral shade from that new collection with the snowflakes on it 
And as for a blush, I love a coral shade on me. I just think it brings out my complexion. So it is my favorite shade to wear on my cheeks. So I have that on today. And then bronzing up my face is a tried and true by, by Mario. And it is one of his skin perfectors right here. Y'all, this goes with me on traveling all the time. Because if you don't want to carry a blush with you, a highlighter, you don't have to do all those separate things. You can just carry this. This is like a one and done. You can use it for blush, highlighter. Y'all, I love this thing. So mine is in the shade medium dark. But y'all, if I can tell you one thing, pick up this. You'll love it. So that's what I have, like bronzing up my face and highlighting it today. As for the mascara I'm wearing today, another tried and true I've been wearing for so long now. It's the Fenty Beauty one here, and I've absolutely love it. I believe it's called Hella Thick or something like that, but y'all... This is one of my favorites. When Sephora had their sale, I picked up their duo pack in that. It is so good, you guys. And then as for eyeliner under my eyes, since I went with this whole deep smoky look with a palette. And don't mistake it, you guys. For that palette, you can also do a light look as well. So you can use some of those lighter shades and do a daytime look if you want to. But you know me, I'm a smoky girl. I always go for the smoky look. I don't know what that is about. Um, but anyway, since I did this smoky look... I wanted to do my waterline with a brighter color to brighten my eyes up. So I used from that line, again, the eyeliner that I got in number 74. And it's called, what is it called? Beige Le Mer. So, there's that waterproof liner right there. That's the color there on the tip. And I love that these are like the roll-ups and roll down. So as you can see, I've used that today in my waterline. And it gave me a brightener underneath my eyes. That's a trick that I always use. Um, back in the day, I used to use a white. Then I started using beige. You know, now I change it up. So that was in my waterline today. And then next on my lips today, I have one of my favorite liners I always talk about here. And that is the liner in Sweet Tea. That's what it looks like right there. And if I had to say what my favorite liner is, it definitely would be this. It's the perfect shade for my skin and my lips. I just love it, you guys. So, I'm always rocking this liner. And then, next for my lips, I just have on one of those balms from that collection, which is the 938 Keep Cool right there that's what it looks like and it's the rouge cocoa balm you guys and it just looks like this it has a hint of shimmer in this one which is why i chose this one but as i stated before these balms can be waxy you guys and i'm not really into waxy balms but you know I picked it up anyway. You know, a girl can always hope it gets better. So I get excited when I see like some shimmer. And I'll think like maybe they changed the formula. But this one is again okay. It is waxy. I'm feeling it kind of feeling like dry right now. So I know I'm going to go over this with a gloss when I'm done. Because, yeah, it is just not that creamy for me i tell you one of chanel balms that is very creamy for me that i like is their essential balms that you can like put on your cheeks or wherever i put those on my lips you guys 
they are so good so that was the balm that i have any of the things that i can link i know the palette i don't think it's out right now yet um i already got in the new collection for the spring summer which i think um i was reading in the comments you guys don't mind if i share it with you early i was stating that i typically don't like to do that because i want to link it and make it available for you guys um before i show it but you know some people like to know in advance as to what is coming so they can prepare and see if it's something that they're interested in so i'm gonna start giving that to you so i'll unbox that one really soon because it's already setting up there the items that i got from it but anyway you guys see how long when i'm away for so long i feel like i just have to talk to you forever and you know my voice is still raspy anyway but y'all <clears throat> let's keep it moving for my fragrance today one i have been really really loving lately it's by loewe you guys and it's the aurora pink magnolia y'all this one here i can smell it like when i put my hand up it has a spicy note in it but it's a florally note in it as well Y'all, I'll put it up on the screen, but y'all, if y'all buy a counter or something like that, smell it. I love it. So if you're a florally spicy type of girl like I am, go for the Aurora from the Wave. But if you are a girl that really doesn't like a florally scent in your fragrances, go with the Loewe, um Woman which I have that one too. I actually did a reel on that. But this one is my favorite. And I also mix them. So, you guys, it's a beautiful fragrance. Check it out. So, as for what I'm wearing today, you guys, I am just wearing a Lululemon pullover. And so, here is the pullover. And it has the little pockets on the side where you can put your hands in. But it's a zip up the front here with the hoodie. It's sparkly. I love sparkle. You know that. I found this one on sale. I found a couple of them on sale. So, when I do my haul, I'll share them with you guys. They actually match these earrings that I have from Chanel that I have had for so so many years and they look just like this pullover they are black with the silver sparklies in it so that is how it looks and you know you can throw your finger in there like when you're working out you know so part of my goals this year is to continue on my weight loss journey I think I have mastered you know what i should eat and trying to keep that all healthy but y'all i gotta get some fitness in here so that's one of my goals and you'll see that as we go along in the video but yeah so i had to get me some workout gear y'all know that <laughs> but anyway lastly you guys i'm rocking my ysl toy Lulu is what this called. Yeah, that's what I'm rocking today. Um, I actually have to run out after this video. And, you know, this is one of my bags. I just swing right on on me. And, yeah. Okay, you guys. So, that does it for housekeeping. Let's get into this Louis Vuitton unboxing. And, again, it's going to be three parts to this video. The first part of the video is going to be the unboxing. Then, the second part is going to be how I put it all together. And then, the third part of it is going to be a flip through with me. So, first, let me roll that unboxing for you. And, we'll talk.
Okay, you guys. So as you saw, I unboxed this gift that I got for Christmas. I used my Christmas money. Santa was good to me this year. And I used my money to purchase the Louis Vuitton GM Agenda. And <clears throat> as you saw, it came in this box here with the receipt, the dust bag, tissue paper, ribbon, all of that is in the box. And so, here's my beauty right here, you guys. And I'm so excited about this, you guys, because you know I am an agenda girl. I have been using agendas for many, many years. In fact, this is my third one from Louis Vuitton. So I have all three sizes. Back when I was working, my size I used the most that I chose was the MM. It went inside of my tote every day. Um, I would put everything in this thing. So I knew everything that was going on. This one, unfortunately, I don't use that much anymore since I've stopped working. I haven't used it, but look, everything is still there in it. It was my favorite. I chose the Damier Graphite just because, you know, I was working and I didn't want like the LVs showing. I would pull it out often and, you know, I didn't want in a working environment, you know, I just didn't want to pull out a LV agenda in front of people with the monogram print on it. So it was like I pulled out this and if you knew, you just knew. And if you didn't know, you just thought it was a checker agenda, right? So this is the one that I used and worked for me for many years as I worked. I had my schedule in here, every single thing. It went with me, you guys, every single day. And so now that I'm home, I wanted something bigger. I wanted a desk agenda to just like put out in my office, write down everything. I'm a pen and paper girl. I will be that to the day I leave this earth, you guys. I know some of you out there are probably like my kids and they put everything in a phone and have a simple system like that. But your girl ain't that type of girl. I'm always going to be a pen and paper girl. I love to decorate. I've been doing that since I was a kid. Loving to put stickers on things. You'll see that as I flip through my agenda. I got to make it pretty, y'all. So, <laughs> yes, this one has carried me, you know, for a long time, you guys. I don't even know if I probably will pick this one up anymore. I probably can't get rid of it because my initials is on it from LV when I had them to, you know, put the hot stamping on there for me, which I didn't do yet with this um, GM agenda, and I don't know if I'm going to do it. Um, although I know I would probably keep this one for life now on my desk in the house and one of the reasons why I won't is because when they did mine I think because I didn't put dots in it it kind of looks it's not bad but that G looks a little off and I I think it's because of the lettering but I should have put you know um the dots in between it and it'll it probably would have been more aligned than it is now but anyway and I did that on both of my agendas. So this is the MM size, in case you're interested. And then this one will always be in my life, you guys. This is my PM size agenda that I keep in my handbag. I can throw my passport in there. I can, you know, use it to write with, you know, when... um I just need to jot down things. I have like paper in the back here, little dashboards. I have pink, some green paper. Um, I have, look at me and my husband on our wedding. <laughs> and I have some like to-do paper in the back. I use this a lot during the holiday time when I'm running out doing a lot of stuff during the holiday. So yeah, 
I will always have this one in my collection. So now I have the trio, you guys, because we're going to go through my desk one that I got for Christmas, you guys. It's all set up. I'm going to go through the setup with you as well. So I'm going to insert a clip now of me like making everything and then we'll come back and I'll show you the final results. Okay guys, so we're in my office. I'm going to show you how I make my dashboards for my agenda. It's something I've been doing for many years, you guys, and it's simple for me. Now, I am a crafty person, but if you're not a crafty person, there's tons of boutiques on Etsy that sell dashboards. But just in case you're interested, I'm going to show you the things you'll need to make it and how I make mine. So first, you just need your paper, which this time... I use this paper right here that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's just the ivory color paper. And I wanted to go with this off-white vanilla type shade because I am doing a Louis Vuitton theme for my agenda this year. So I wanted to go with the cream, but you can certainly use white. Here is a white one here that I got from Walmart. This is a 28 pound paper here but this cream one that i got here from hobby lobby is a card stock paper and i'll link it all down below for you guys but again i'm using this cream shade for my louis vuitton theme this year instead of white so you need your paper to print it out on <clears throat> you also need you some laminating paper which I have the scotch here. It doesn't matter which one you have. Anyone will do as long as it's laminating paper. It doesn't have to be this brand. And then right here, I have my laminator. You would need that. Right here to the side, I have my cutter board here. And then I have my hole puncher right here and if you can see this hole puncher has the different um styles of agenda that you use you would just slide this little lever here to match which one today as you know i'm doing my new gm so i had to move it to the a5 because that's what you would use for that and i'm just going to turn my cutting board around too so you can see it right here and if you can see it has the measurements already on there for you know your agenda so as you can see like the a5 the a6 you know the pocket size all of those are already on there so you know where to stick your paper so that's an easy guide for me but for years i used to use a regular old cutter from staples you just have to measure it that's all with that so i think that's pretty much all you need in your printer to print it. Now, um, I share with you already, I had already printed mine. I have already pre-cut some of mine that's going in the agenda. I did leave a couple left so I can show you, you know, just how I cut it. So I have a couple full sheets left to cut down. And then I'm going to laminate them all. I'm going to hole punch them all and then they'll be all ready for my agenda. This year and what I like to do, I like to do one for each actual month. You don't have to do it that way. So here is the printout of January. And as you can see, I put a little cell phone a Louis Vuitton themed notebook and I put my name on it there. Now, as for photos, you can search photos online. I use places like Pinterest. I actually this time as well went on Louis Vuitton website and downloaded some pictures for my bookmarks. So that is another option that you can do. So once I get the image, I upload it into Canva and then I start designing it. So that's what I do. So I'm just gonna take this one here. 
And I'm gonna take my cutter here. And so all you would do is line up your photo where it says A5, that line. And then you just simply cut. And that's it. And then you would turn it around, put it on A5 the other way. And my actual cutter comes with this holder. So if you don't think you're gonna hold it tight, you can just hold it down with the magnetic piece. But for me, I've been doing it so long, it's just so easy. I don't need the magnetic piece. And as you can see, there is January cut down to the A5 size, just like I did my others here. So there they are, all lined up. So I'm gonna zip through the rest, you guys really quick and then we'll move along I have a shirt with this image on it. It's so cute. I like to like put my little name on it as well. And look at that one right there with the little heart with my name on it. <laughs> Thought that was so cute too. Just cut this one down. And so here are some images that I got off of the Louis Vuitton website. So here is a key ball. And then I have a bandeau of the luggage tags, which I absolutely love. And these are gonna actually be bookmarks for me. So I'm gonna cut them out and use them as bookmarks. And these I'm not cutting in the A5, I'm cutting around it. And these I really don't have to measure because I'm going to cut it out after I laminate it. So here are some of my images. You're going to see this when I do a flip through of the whole entire agenda. But as you can see, it's all Louis Vuitton inspired. Um, so that is my birthday month. And yeah, these are some of the things I came up with. I love this butterfly. So those are some of the images I came up with. And then I have two extra dashboards for motivation. This one right here just has my name on top and it has um, never give up on it. And as you can see, it looks like she's carrying a Palm Springs backpack. And this one is just me <laughs> loving this one because she had a little coffee mug and I put my name on the little heart charm. <laughs> So next we're gonna laminate the dashboards, but I forgot to cut it on. So it's heating up now, but while we're waiting for it to heat, I'm just gonna share with you some of the things that I purchased for this agenda. Um, one of the things is the monthly calendar. And you will see this in the flip through, but I got this one from Amazon. As you can see, it has the tabs. And it is just a monthly one because now with me being home, that's all I need. I don't need the weekly. So that's that. Um, I purchased that one from Amazon because it was really cheap. I got some paper as well. And it's a brown color, you know, reminiscent 
of, again, my theme from Louis Vuitton. I got some extra paper as well, which I've used in a past. It comes with different colors. Um, and I've used this in a past in my MM size agenda and my PM. So I have those. Now, when I was in Hobby Lobby getting the paper, they had all of these items by the paper studio on sale for more than half off. I mean, the stuff was really, really inexpensive. So I picked up some items from there and that's also who that cardstock paper is by. So everything I got, I think was more than 60% off. So here is Agenda 52, some stickers and y'all, y'all know I love to decorate with stickers. So I have loads of stickers, but it shows you them all on the back. We also have another pack of stickers here. And the first part of it is like the days of the week, but it shows you all the different ones on the back. Then I got this one here. I think this was like almost less than a dollar because the regular price was three something. But um, I got some budget um, papers here for budgeting. And then one of the other things I have, I saw this one for meal plans. So I definitely want to incorporate some meal plans. I was looking for an exercise one, but that's all right. I got some stickers for that. So yeah, I got those all like 60% off at Hobby Lobby along with that paper again. Another thing I like to use are like these clear inserts that zip. I'll show you that. I have several types of these. I use them to put my extra pins in. Um, I use them to put in um, sticky notes, stickers, coins, money, whatever you want, you can put it in here. So just wanna share those items with you. So here is what that laminating paper looks like. Put the one in there.
So now that the laminator here is heated up, I'm just gonna feed these through. And so as you can see, this one is all nicely laminated. I'll just use my cutter to trim the excess off and then it'll be ready for the hole punching. So I'm gonna zip through this guys and I'll be right back with all of them laminated. Okay guys, so I have started to cut some of that excess off and so these are what the dashboards would look like right here. I'm gonna zip through this cause I am multitasking here and laminating and cutting down at the same time. So I'm gonna show you one completely done. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I put the hole punch in. So hopefully on the back you can see where it has all the different hole punching sizes you need, whether it's A5, A6. I have it on A5. So you would just pull this lever to A5 and then all you would do is put your dashboard in. So here is one here and you'll put your dashboard in all the way to the back. So you will put it to the lever at the top and then slide it all the way back and then punch down for your holes. And there you are. You have the A5 holes on the side. Do you see that? So that is how you make dashboards, you guys. So I'm gonna finish all of this up and I'm gonna come back and do a flip through with you of my complete agenda. Okay guys, so I'm being lazy right now. I was gonna get up and put this on a desk and do a flip through so you guys can see it, but I'm sitting here still on the floor. So I'm just gonna flip through this on my lap. I hope you guys don't mind. But here is that GM agenda here from Louis Vuitton. And so when you open it, you guys, let me just show you. Um, you would have saw me make the dashboards like I make. Now, if you're not, again, um, handy with making dashboards. There's all kind of sellers like on places like Etsy, those type of places that, you know, will sell you these things. But before we get started, I think I probably showed this. I should have showed you the tag. I just left them in the side here. So there is the tag for this agenda if you're interested in this one. And I don't know if you'll be able to see right there, but this is um, one that's made in France. And so you have your slip pocket here. You have one here. And then you have another slip pocket there, which I have nothing there. I have a dashboard right here on the front, which um, this one here, which is the Louis Vuitton bandeau, um, with the luggage tags and you know I love bandos. I used to wear them all the time you guys to work. So this is the actual bandeau here that I just got off of Louis Vuitton website. All I did was cut it down, laminate it, and punch a hole right there in it. And so there you are, that's a bookmark for me. And so my first dashboard, I wanted to create something that would be motivational. So I just put my name here. This picture just really, you know, resonated with me. With all of these dashboards, I wanted something that reminded me of Louis Vuitton. So that was kind of like the theme this year. And that bag right there reminds me of my Palm Springs Mini. And for me, y'all know I'm always with a cup of coffee. So I'm always relaxed too with jeans, leggings, sneakers, that type of thing. So I just put my name up here and then I just put never give up because, you know, 
never give up on any of your dreams or your aspirations, whatever your goals are in life. Even sometimes, you guys, if you fall off the wagon, just dust yourself off and try again. Keep going. Whatever it may be, you guys, never give up. So that's my little motivation for this year for myself. And we'll get into some of my goals. So that was my motivational dashboard right in the front. I made quite a bit of dashboards this year. I made them for every month. You don't have to do that. But again, they're simple for me to make. Because I'm a crafty girl. That's always been me. Fun fact about me. When I was young. I used to do that during the summertime. I always wanted to take. Like arts and crafts classes. So yeah. I'm crafty like that. But if you're not. You know you can always. Purchase these type of things. So I'll get like photos off of Pinterest. Some of these that you'll see came straight from the Louis Vuitton website, such as that bandeau. But yeah, I just like to personalize mine. So as you can see, this first one for January looks like a Louis Vuitton agenda and it has an Apple cell phone. I just stuck my name there, January 2024. And if you can see right here, when I unbox my Chanel um, Beauty, my client advisor gave me these cute little paper clips that are gold that look like Chanel bottles. So they were perfect for my agenda. I was like, she knows me like a book. So I have a couple of those up here and they're just to like hold the space where I am in my agenda, which here was my month of January, as you can see right there. So as you can see again, I love to decorate with stickers. You guys, that's just my thing. It has always been my thing. So hopefully you can see that right there. If you saw in my like holiday vlogs, um, it would have been the last one I'd done. I unboxed from Louis Vuitton um, a agenda refill for my small PM size agenda. I end up returning that and putting the money toward this one because I was like, you know what? I'm not, I really want the GM. Let me just go for that. So yeah, I end up returning that and putting, it was, it wasn't even like 70 bucks, I think. So I put it toward this and then I went on Amazon and I purchased the monthly inserts because for me now in my lifestyle, I don't need a weekly agenda. I just need my stuff monthly to look at it at a glance. That's it. Um, so as you can see, this is a monthly style. Again, this came from um, Amazon. I'll link it below. It has the little tabs here that have each month on it, if you can see that. So, you know, it has the little tabs for each month on the side. And it is a monthly agenda like I like. Now, um, next year, I'm just going to make everything myself because I can make this too. When I'm making these sort of things, I use Canva. So, yeah, I just go in there and pretty much design it and then print it out. So, I can do this as well. So, that's January. I'm just going to now flip through... Um, each area and so let me just take the clips off so I can show you how the actual page looks so in front you'll have your to do in January 2024 so you'll have all your list of things you want to do in January and then you just flip over and it is your monthly calendar and then over here you would have the month before and the month ahead there so that is January and let me just go on to my dashboard for February. 
and as you can see February I thought of Valentine's Day I saw this Megan Hess image with the lady with her Louis Vuitton never full and her Matisse and her coffee that's me y'all and then I just wrote down the side love is in the air and put a heart right there that is it and printed the dashboard out and I used cream paper, um, I think I explained to you guys as I was um, printing them out on all of these. You can use white. I use hard stock paper. I should have shared with you guys that as well, but you don't have to because when you laminate it, it's going to be that hard stock anyway. So that's February. We're going to just flip through. I have started decorating February already since February is here now. So yeah, I just have some of my things that's going on in February. I have a trip coming. We're going to Tampa. So I got to prepare for that as well. So yeah, I just have all of my things I need to do. We're going to flip next to March, which is my birthday month. Let me just show you the dashboard for March, which is right here. And so that's March balloons. I put a little Louis Vuitton cake right there that says happy birthday. I put my name under it. Again, a Megan Hess image. I love her images with the lady with all of her Louis Vuitton get up on and her coffee in her hand, which is like always me, you guys. So you see that? Um, so yeah, my birthday month is March. If you're joining me for the first time, you guys, my name is Talita, but we call me T over here because I know everybody's not going to remember that name. <laughs> Or have trouble with it but yeah so that was March let's go on to April which I just put April showers and it's a Louis Vuitton um, umbrella and I took these little boots off of the Louis Vuitton website and put them here and then I just put some little flowers over top of it some little you know shower water um, on that and that became my dashboard you guys it was simple for me again so this was April and you'll just see like the monthly on each one so I've only gotten up to February with planning out <laughs> because we're in February so let's look at May look at May I saw this image somewhere I think it was Pinterest and I just pulled it. It was a butterfly with LVs in it and had Louis Vuitton under it. And I just used that for May. So June, let's go to June. June is one of my travel months that always sticks out for me. So for this one, you know, I, I put the airplane there. I put the car with Louis Vuitton on the... Um, license plate with the Louis Vuitton bag. I saw that image and I put vacation time because June is the month that is our family vacation. So me and my husband, we take vacations all throughout the year, but June always sticks out because that's the time that our family gets together for vacation. Last year, we went to Aruba. This year, we're going to Turks and Caicos. So y'all, it's my time that I love so I made that special for June um, and then let's flip to July what did I think of on July so my dashboard for July is just simple I thought of 4th of July we always like to gather go see fireworks on 4th of July so we have a couple displays that are really big in my area that we go to. So I just put 4th of July with some red, white, and blue balloons. Still Louis Vuitton theme. So um, you see the jeans here. Um, and then a little handbag right there with the LVs on it. So, so that's July. Let's flip to August dashboard. And August is again a Megan Hess 
image. So what I did was took the initial image of Megan Hess and then I just added like flowers and butterflies around it and again printed it out. So you see her on her little trunks. I thought that was so cute. And so let's move on to September. That's August. September was very simple. I just pulled this image and then I added my name. I think I saw this on Pinterest or something like that and put the month of September up there. So that was simple. And then let's go to October, which we all think of pumpkin time. So I saw this Louis Vuitton inspired little pumpkin, pull that image, add some flowers around it, and just put October at the top. So, November. If y'all remember, I have a shirt with this on it. I just added my name right here. So this is an inspired Speedy Damier Ben, and it has one of my favorite things as well, which is a bandeau on it. I just popped my name right there. If you can see that on the bandeau, put November, added a pink butterfly, and I put I am thankful. I am for everything I have and do. I am very thankful. So that was November. And November is the month. It's Thanksgiving and we think of thanks, right? And so lastly, in December, I saw this image of like a Louis Vuitton tree with like presents under it. So all I did was put December on it and put that image on there. That was it for December. And then we're going to move on to my next one, which I grabbed this image off of Pinterest, I think, as well. And it just is Louis Vuitton, like themed glasses, heels, wallet, that type of thing. And this is where I'm going to carry my notes. So I just wrote Talita's notes right up here. And I put this paper in here, this brown paper um, that I picked up off of... It might have been Timu. I'll link everything below for you guys. But I also have this. I use this paper. And I think I get it from Amazon. Did I bring it in here? No. But I probably would have shown you already. I have some ones that comes in a pack that I get from Amazon. And it has pink, green in it. Um and blue I think is another color but you get this lined paper that you can write on so this is where I'm gonna write my video ideas all of my things for YouTube I'm gonna try to keep them and schedule them right here because um, for my channel this year I want to do a couple of different things God willing um, everything goes well. I am planning it out now. So, you know, I want to sprinkle in some different things for you guys. Um, so one of the things I wanted to do is to try to be a little bit more consistent and have some type of scheduling. So, so you guys will know when I'm actually putting up a YouTube video um, but again, always put that notification bell on so that it will notify you whenever I upload. But again, my goal is to be a little bit more consistent on this channel. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to schedule out a schedule. And I think right now it's going for Mondays because I always want to do makeup Mondays because I love makeup so I'm going to try to sprinkle that in on a Monday for you guys and then Fridays I'm going to try to upload a video such as unboxings so that is my goal and then also I want to sprinkle in once a month my what's in a bag Wednesdays and then a new one I want to do once a month is my Friday favorites. So I have this all planned out you guys so hopefully everything goes well. 
but this is where I will be jotting everything down and preparing for that then over here next I just have a little um, envelope here that just has some money in it so I have that then my next dashboard I think I took off of Pinterest or somewhere again and this one is just a lady with her coffee um, and a heart this this um, little heart right here reminded me of like a Louis Vuitton charm so I just put my name inside of that and it has like little hearts there so I made that a dashboard because the next section is going to be my budget section, which it says budget here. It has everything here for me to jot down. And, um, you know, it has all your expenses, housing, electric, gas, everything that I need to budget for is going to go here. So I have that in this section. And then another thing... I want to do and I got these actual papers from um, um, Hobby Lobby and then and they were on sale really really cheap so <laughs> there you are another section that I put in here is my goal section where I want to continue to eat healthy but I also want to lose some more weight so I put Bon Appetit right here. Eat healthy with a little salad. And then I got these little um, images here from Louis Vuitton website. And it's their, um, you know, cup and plate here with a little apple. And then here you'll see I have my meal plans here. So right here is where I plan to plan out my meals. I have a grocery list section here. But yeah, just so I can still continue, not necessarily to count my calories, but to watch what I'm eating and my intake. So here is that section. And then my next section, <laughs> which y'all, this is the area that I'm definitely going to need work with you guys because I don't like to sweat. <laughs> And this section requires that and it is my fitness section you guys but I feel like I've now hit a plateau in my weight loss with trying to maintain the, my food intake that now I just have to like tone up and to get over that hump and so with that being said I just need to start working out you guys so I made this little dashboard and I put my three little goals in here so these pictures here I took off of Pinterest except for the um, sneakers which I have these runaway sneakers I took this actually off the Louis Vuitton website so I just put fitness here we have the barbells we have the bag we have the water bottle and the jump rope with my little goals in it here let me move it up a little closer so you can see my three little goals I put for myself one being exercise um, two I want to lose 20 pounds and three I want to sleep more because for me and a woman in my 50s and going through menopause I fight with insomnia like nobody's business you guys I I am up late at night just looking around it's a mess you guys and I feel like for me to actually lose some weight you guys I have to sleep at night I have to get at least eight hours of sleep right now I think I live on four hours of sleep honestly you guys and I have to cut that out for my health so that is definitely a goal of mine um and I used to take melatonin, you guys. If any of y'all take melatonin out there, tell me if you're like me. I had these vivid dreams, you guys. So I had to stop taking that stuff. I couldn't do it. So I just have to find some other way to shut off everything and go to bed, y'all. 
I might have to get me some chamomile tea, something. I'm going to have to find something. If y'all have some suggestions for me outside of taking melatonin, because um, I don't want to dream like that. Um, anyway, that's my fitness dashboard here. And then I just put in my daily fitness planner here and I printed out some sheets um, that I did in Canva that will hold me to whatever. So if my fitness goal for that week is to take a 15 minute walk, which I miss that you guys, I used to do that every single day at work on base. Um, because I worked on a military base. So I used to walk around their track all the time. Shout out to my Office of Navy Intelligence group if you if any of you guys are seeing this. But yeah, so I used to walk around that track all the time, every day for lunch. But y'all... Since I've been home in my neighborhood, I haven't done it because I'm kind of afraid because every now and then I see some loose dogs running around here um, that then got out of their fence or what have you. And child, I can't run like that. Y'all know I got back issues. So if one of those vicious like dogs try to chase me, they just gonna eat me y'all because I, I can't even run like that. So anyway, you know, my husband gave me some mace and stuff, but y'all, I'm just scared. So I haven't walked around my neighborhood unless I have, like, my sister come over and walk with me. If I have somebody with me, I'm fine. But by myself, mm-mm. <laughs> but anyway, whatever my goal may be, um, you know, I just want to write it down and adhere to it because that's how I do things best. So whether it be, you know, get on my own treadmill downstairs in my basement for 15 minutes or, you know, walk in the neighborhood for 15 minutes or do a couple sit-ups or leg lifts or whatever in the house, I want to write it down. I want to adhere to a schedule of doing that. Um, and then go outside of the home. I've started taking a cycling class, but I more so need to, instead of doing that cycling class next time, because that's a bit too much for me um, with my issues, um, is to do more of a yoga or a Pilates class. So I'm going to look for those dates of those classes and take those. But whatever the exercise may be, again, I want to stick to it. So that's why I have the planner here. So I have those planners there. And then lastly, in the back, I just have another pouch and it has my favorite pens to write with in here. And these pens, I'll show you my extra pack here comes like in a pack of eight and I got these straight off of Timu. I love Timu. I am affiliate and when they put money in my little thing that I earn, I just buy something else that I like from there. So I got these from Timu, but what I love about them so much is they erase. So they have all these colors, so they write in the actual color. So if it's a red pen, it's going to write in red, you know, so on and so forth. But they're gel pens, but, but they have erasers on the top, if you can see that. And so you can erase them if you mess up. And I'm a neat freak, so I need pens like that. So <laughs> that's what I have in here, along with some other little extra pens. Here I have... And here another little plastic sleeve where I have some essay cards and then down in here I decorate with stickers so I have some extra stickers you can put that down in there and then say if you wanted a notepad down in there I have slipped one of those down in there as well and then lastly over here you know, um, with Louis Vuitton, you get the other pocket here, and then you have a slot for your pen. And this is a pen that I've had for many, many years from Swarovski Crystals. And it has that little butterfly dangling on the side. 
so hopefully you can see that so I have that pen right here that's pink with my little butterfly dangling from it so that was my flip through you guys of my agenda from Louis Vuitton I am so pleased with this purchase again I didn't get it hot stamped yet and I don't know if I'm going to or I was thinking maybe I would just go to Michael's or wherever Hobby Lobby and get some stickers in gold and then just put my own initials just stick them here so if I ever want to peel them off I can I think I'm gonna go with that idea instead of getting Louis Vuitton to hot stamp it I don't know but I think that's a better choice <laughs> but again I think I'm gonna keep this one forever so yeah, I don't see a reason why I wouldn't let them do it. I don't know. I'm up in the air about it. But anyway, y'all, that was my flip through of my agenda. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... And so, yeah, you guys, this is what I bought with my Christmas money from Louis Vuitton. Again, um, yeah, I love to decorate with stickers. And I hopefully I've shared everything with you guys as to what I used in this. And so, yeah, I just created this myself. So that was my agenda set up for you guys so that is it you guys for today as always thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys